The Delsar Life Detector is comprised of the LD3 interface, headset, seismic and acoustic sensors, and mounting attachments. The LD3 unit's display provides a visual bar graph of the noise and vibration levels being picked up by a particular sensor. Different types of materials will transmit vibrations differently, so it's important to place all of the sensors on the same type of materials and avoid placing the sensors on sound-absorbing materials such as carpet, vinyl, and drywall. When performing a primary area search with the Delsar Life Detector, place as many sensors as possible around the area to maximize the coverage area. Sensors should be positioned firmly on solid material and oriented in the same direction. A written log of these placements should be made in the form of a placement diagram. By calling to the victims and requesting them to knock three times, the vibrations are picked up on the LD3 interface. Tapping is more effective because sound waves carry better across solid conductors than through the air. If three knocks are detected on any of the sensors, note the signal strengths on your placement diagram. If possible, have the victim repeat the three knocks to verify the distress call. If a victim is detected during the primary search, a secondary search is done to determine the victim's location. The sensor which showed the highest signal strength and or the highest pitched frequency will be the one closest to the victim. Sensors can be moved around this area and the knocking can be repeated until the victim's location is determined. To utilize the sensors on a variety of materials, several sensor accessories are available. The spike is used to allow the sensor to pick up vibrations in the ground by increasing the ground contact. The magnetic attachment allows for solid contact on steel or other metal materials. Simple care and maintenance is all that is needed to keep the Delsar operational and ready for use. A cloth can be used to clean the sensors, display, and cables. If needed, a damp cloth with mild soap can be used as well. Be sure to use the protective caps on the ends of all connectors when they are not connected. Deformed connectors will not mate properly. 